So in this video um, for Olam Chemistry, I'm going to be showing you how to make a standard solution. We need a beaker, um, a whey boat, a funnel, um, a squeezy water cooler of diode water, volumetric flask stopper, um, and we need a, a balance that is very accurate. So I'm just zeroing my balance. Um, you probably need to wait a bit for this to actually zero out. Pop your whey boat or your whey bottle in there, and then you're going to need to zero it again. And again, I love chemistry, it's all about patience. So I want to make a um, 0.1 mole solution of a sodium hydrogen carbonate. So first of all, I need to know how much to weigh out. So this is the formula of sodium hydrogen carbonate, and I need to work out the MR of it. Sodium is 23, hydrogen is 1, carbon is 16, and I have three of those, so the MR of sodium hydrogen carbonate is 72. Now there are a couple of ways um, that you can work um, out um, this. Um, the way that the book tells us, so the mass in grams equals moles times MR, so if I want a 0.1 mole solution, I times that by the MR, so 0.1 times 7, um, 72 equals 7.2 grams, and that is going to be in one in one litre of solution. Now, I only want to make 100 mils of solution, so I need to divide that by 10. So I need to make 0 0.72 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate in 100 mils. Um, uh, if I wanted to make a 250 ml solution, I would just divide that by 4, so 7.2 divided by 4 equals 1.8 grams. Um, another way of doing it, um, this also works out quite well, it's the way that I used to do it in the lab. It's not the official example of the way, but um, it will also work is for a one mole solution, you need the MR in one litre. So one mole solution is gonna be the MR in one litre. So if the MR is 72 and we have one litre, that's gonna be one mole. Um, if I wanted to have a 500 ml solution, you divide that by two, so we just divide that by two, 72 divided by two equals 36 grams. And you can keep going like this, um, working out lots of different things. I'll come back to this later when we need to work out the actual um, amount that we need to use. So um, this is my balance, I've teared my balance when it's zero, zero, zero. Um, it's a very, very windy day and my windows in here aren't very um, tight, so the balance keeps fluctuating a bit. Um, sometimes in the labs you'll see the balances come in um, perspex boxes to stop them fluctuating, but I just need to get as close as I can to uh, 1.8 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate so I can make my solution. Um, let me just add some on here. Now, we're going to be doing this in such a way that it doesn't actually matter whether you get exactly 1.8 grams or not, because we are going to be um, working out the concentration from the amount that we had. So that is way too much, take some off. Okay, 1.18 grams, that's close, let's see if I can get a bit closer. So 5 grams, add a bit more on. Okay, I'm happy with that. It is not exactly 1.8 grams, but it is very, very close. Now, I need to record this number um, so that I can use it later. 1.804 grams. I've recorded the amount that the sodium hydrogen carbonate weighed in the weigh boat, so I'm just going to tip all of that in there. and. It, the um, weigh boat isn't going to be exactly empty, so what I need to do is pop this back on the scales and then I need to see what the scales read and they read 0 0.009. The balance out for a little bit, it might be a bit fluctuating. Um, if you can't see that very clearly, I'll just bring it down here, it's 0 0.009 and I need to record that number for later. 
So you can see here, I have my mass of my sodium hydrogen carbonate in the wave boat before, the mass of the wave boat after. Take two of these away together, and we get the actual mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate going into the beaker as 1.795 grams. So here's my sodium hydrogen carbonate in my um, beaker. What I need to do now is to dissolve this in about 100 mils of water. So I've put about 100 mils of water into my beaker with my sodium hydrogen carbonate that we've weighed out. I'm just going to stir this using a glass stirring rod until it is completely dissolved. This may take a while for some things or it might be quite quickly. Um, depending on what it is, um, things dissolve at different rates. If we look in here we can see that there is still some um, bits at the bottom so this needs to stir a bit more. until it is all dissolved. Still a few bits in the bottom. I'll keep going with this and come back to you in a second. Okay, so I've got my water level up to here. My um, actual level is up to here. And this is the bit where you need to start going really slow. You need to bend your knees. You need to get down on the level with the meniscus. So I always like to do this with one eye. And again, we're gonna need to be going drop by drop so that we do not go over. Remember, you want your bottom of your meniscus to be on the line. Drop, 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 and there. The bottom of my meniscus is on the line. So, um, this is illustrating why it's really important that um, we look at the meniscus with our knees bent. Um, this is what it looks like from the top, and if I just bring you down to my level, we can see that the bottom of the mis meniscus is exactly on the line, and that is what we're going to be looking for. That is exactly 250 mils of solution, whereas if we look at it from the top, it looks like I've gone over. Whereas if I look at it from here, you can see that the bottom of the meniscus is exactly on the line. Now, this um, experiment needs to be done quite accurately. If you do go over, under absolutely no circumstances can you then remove liquid from this because you'll be changing the solution, you'll be um, removing some of the sodium hydrogen carbonate at the same time as you're removing water. I'm afraid if you go over, you're gonna have to start all over again. Once you've um, added all your water, you need to pop your stopper on your volumetric bottle Hold it like this so you've got a nice firm grip and we're going to need to invert it a couple of times to make sure everything is completely mixed. So now we've made up our solution, we need to know exactly how much we've made up. Um, and like I said, there are a couple of ways that we can do this. Um, so we started off with this sheet earlier and I said that for one more solution we need to have 72 grams dissolved in one litre. If I had to get rid of that one, what we actually have is 1.795 grams and let's say, um, say it's dissolved in one litre for the moment. So this is exactly um, like ratios. So 72 Um, so, I, like I just started saying, it's exactly um, like ratios. Let me run a calculator over here so we can see it a bit better. We need to do 1.795 divided by 72 equals. That gives us our sum, and that's going to tell us um, if we dissolved that much in one litre, it would give us a 0 0.025 molar solution. But we didn't dissolve it in one litre, we dissolved it in 250 mils. Um, so, let me move that over. 250 mils um, into one litre goes four times, so we need to times that number by four. So times that by four gives us a 0.9997 uh, and if we round that up it's going to give us 0.1 molar solution, which is exactly what I was aiming to make. If you don't like doing my ratios, here's the equation that we started with. So the mass in grams is 1.795 
equals the moles that we're looking for times 72, the MR. It's exactly the same. You do 1.795 divided by 72. That is going to give you the um, moles per decimeter cubed, but then because we dissolved it in 250 moles, not in a litre, we need to times that by 4, which will again give us 0.1 mole solution. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. Donate so I can buy stuff to make more videos. Share this with your friends so that they can help improve their grade as well. Any comments, questions, requests or corrections down in the comments below, please.